Hello, welcome to Azure Talk. Me and Sachin both are talking together on technologies nowadays, uh, very frequently, and bringing the some new things for you too. So, welcome, Sachin. Thank you. Thank you, Abhishek. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Hope you are too. Yeah, thank you so much. Staying at okay. home. Great. So, Sachin, I think we are going to talk about provision virtual network and subnet today with using Terraform. Am I right? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'll be explaining about how can we provision Azure virtual network and some sub, sub networks within that using Terraform. So we'll be explaining each and every bit of that. That's great. Good time to start. Yeah, thank you. So I believe uh, you should be able to see my screen. Yes, very well. All right, uh, here we go, guys. Uh, so I do have my template ready uh, where I have created one virtual network into a resource group and few sub networks within that. So uh, I would highly recommend you to go through my previous video demonstration about how can we use variables into Terraform while we provision a certain resource in Azure. The reason behind that because I'll be uh, using variables into this as well. So that would al allow you that would give a glimpse about how can we utilize variables and how can we set their actual values and the default values in that. Okay, so moving yeah. ahead. Moving ahead, uh, as you can see, I am into my main.tf files and onto the left side, I do have my solution structure where I do have main.tf variables where I have defined certain variables and into the terraform.tf was files, I have kept some actual values of them. So start with the main.tf. Here, as you can see, I do have a provider as we have set into the uh, last demonstration as well. Uh, the service provider of that resource group I am provisioning using these set of statement where we are using one variable, which is server underscore RG. The same way I am setting some values, vaccine server location, all of them I have kept it here and both of these are string and how can we see their values if you see at the top of the screen we do have vaccine server location is east us and though I do have server rg which is named as vaccine rg moving ahead so this is the way to provision a resource within through Terraform within Azure. This is the syntax to write your virtual network. And here we do have a name structure of that. And this is a actual value of the name of a virtual network. As you can see, I have utilized some interpolation within our structure, the syntax as well. The interpolation is to making a string of your need right so which is further you just you required to keep uh, starts with it starts with a dollar and you have to keep into curly braces where dot resource prefix and adding some hard code value as hyphen bnet right so this is how you can make your custom string within terraform Sachin, uh, moving ahead how yeah, do please. you how to use the variables like uh, using the where dot uh, keyword yeah yeah, where dot keyword and uh, as you can see, we do have a resource prefix. If I jump into the variable, it should have a resource prefix here. Yeah, yeah. And the, where we have kept its actual value into the terraform.tfr file, we have kept it vaccine server, right? Right, right. Okay, so this is how we can interpolate the thing. The another thing, the address space. Indeed, we should we require a address space or a CIDR range of that. So the same way I have kept a vaccine server address range. So this is a syntax to keep a CIDR range into the brackets. The location is again a vaccine server location which we have seen. It should be. It is east US, and this is a way 
to utilize certain values that is one of the form of the implicit dependency we do use within terraform so what it does in order to set some values it it is using the value which we have kept here into the line number 6 and using its value and the name for the right so what it does at the run time it calculates in such way it find the which resource it is this is azure rm resource group and their its name and the actual name of the server which is which is calculating at the run time this is the way to define the implicit dependency within terraform if we think about to keep depends on as a as an explicit dependency so this is a syntax though i am not using within my solution right now but uh, for sake of clarity and uh, if you are willing to use the explicit dependency so you can declare in such way okay so terraform allows you right so whenever you provision a virtual network so you have to keep their sub network as well so for now i have kept two sub networks i have kept one static value plasma subnet and the another one is the medicine subnet right keeping the covid situation nowadays these can be some vaccine and the some areas which can uh, heal to patient as well so kept those thing into my mind so address prefix again so this is a slightly uh, interesting one the variable is using some list type of variables and i have kept their index value and if you see that if you see here like subnet address cider range so i have kept the type of list of string so further if i go into the tf terraform.tfs file in order to see that how can we set the list value so this is the syntax to keep them right right, right. i think so far so good and yeah. uh, let me uh, find out i am using terraform plan command it allows us as we have seen into the past videos as well so let me rephrase it again it allows us to identify what resource terraform is about to provision on our behalf so generally it does not take too much time uh, it has started executing so as soon as uh, it start executing every time i tell i share to you that it provides a lock on to the files that no one can change so let it populate it first good it yeah. since it is executed uh, yeah yeah uh, we have run a terraform plan yet uh, just in order to see that what are we about to provision so these are the certain resource which we are about to provision it will be provisioning our address space of 10.0.0.0 of public 16 the cider range of the virtual network and within the resource group vaccinazi and the same way we do have two sub networks yeah. right yeah and now uh, finally uh, i am about to apply terraform apply command again it will take couple of minute in the meantime let me pause and we'll come back as soon as it provision the entire set of resources yeah uh, as uh, you have seen that uh, we have provision certain resources and it advising to us apply completed to resource have been added zero zero change and zero destroyed let me jump directly to my portal and let me refresh it it should, we should have something yes uh, we do have yeah. vaccine rg yeah as we can see here and into that we do have vaccine server vnet as you remember we have interpolated that value and ends with hyphen vnet and which yeah. is showing over here moving ahead if i click on that and going to the subnet section we are here and it proves that we have provisioned two sub networks yeah. with name of medicine and the plasma and with their respective address range as per the address range we do have almost 11 ip available for our purpose yeah so this is uh, my objective to share uh, along with you 
Yeah. That looks so nice. I'll be yeah. I'll be putting the entire code onto Azure repo and we'll share within the description. Yes, Abhishek. Very fantastic. And in the short span of time, you have given a big, a good demonstration indeed. So yeah. thanks for that. And what what would be the next? Any plan? Probably, for uh, yeah, probably in upcoming days, I'll be uh, using Azure AD principle in order to con connect directly rather than uh, going with the AZ login every time. So every time it will identify the secret and the client ID. So we'll be using those stuff. That's great, fantastic. Yeah. And uh, for viewers, uh, Sachin would be contactable on, yeah, in my background, if you can see, there is a slide, let me, Sachin, you can uh, unshare your screen, please. Yes, so here is the, here is about Sachin. Yeah, guys, you can reach me on Twitter at .NET Piper. You can reach me through my blog, which is .NET Piper .com. And you can reach me also through my email ID, Sachin.Kalia at Hotmail.com. I'll be happy to answer. Yeah, thank you. Abhishek, what about you? Yes, me too is coming soon. And uh, here we go. You can see my details here. My Twitter handle is at the rate Abhimetri and email ID is son of SPM at outlook.com. So thanks for participating. Keep watching. We are coming back again on Edu Talk. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Vishay.